Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. Welcome to the barn. In this barn buddy, which is the first one on version seven, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the tool strip and how you customize the tool strip. Very easily done, and it's something that will really be beneficial to you, I believe. This tool strip that you're looking at at the top right here, this gray strip with all of these icons, is your version six tool strip, the one that, that most of us are used to using. You see that the colors are a little bit different. With version seven, you can customize both this tool strip and this menu bar right here with these little icons to make it be what you need it to be. If you only do edge to edge, you can rearrange these and have just edge to edge icons up here. Or if like me, you use the majority of the icons because no longer do you have the right side icons over here on the right side of your computer screen. Everything is gonna be up here at the top. Version seven will be loaded Version 7 is loaded with several different tool strips for you to be able to choose from, or you can make up your own. So let me show you right quick how to do that. If I right click in this open gray area right here on the tool strip, I'm going to get this menu to come up that says customize the menu, which is this top bar, customize the tool strip, or show the icon names. If I left click to show icon names, you see that now I just have the icons and when you get used to version seven, you may realize that you don't want all of that wording up there. Right click on this tool strip, I'm going to check show icon names and I am going to left click on customize tool strip and when I do, this menu comes up. You can see there is Creative Studio, there's Creative Studio version seven. Here are several different choices that you have. For instance, if I say advanced, then this box to the right changes and shows you what will come up on the advanced tool strip and what the order of these are. If I go to design mode, it will change and come up with a different set. Left click on easy mode and you can see that these are the only buttons that are going to be on your tool strip. You can always add buttons. If you click on border corner and you left click on this little arrow right here, it puts border corner on there. You can also hold down your left mouse button and drag that icon over and it will come in at the point that you drug it. Say I'm going to do circular array and I'm going to put it between draw arc and freehand and it comes in You can also drag the icon by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it over to the right side and it will put it into the position where you let go of that mouse button. Scrolling down will show you all of the options of all of the icons that you have on that layout. You can move things up or down by holding down the left mouse button and moving it up to a different position. You can also click this little set of up and down arrows right here and whatever you have highlighted will move up and down that toolbar, just like that. So I'm gonna say use this layout and you can see that the layout at the top has changed and I have a totally different group of icons than I had to start with. So I'm going to right click, go back to left click, customize toolbars. This little item right here is called a separator. And what it does for me is separate out the different icons that I use to manipulate patterns 
and the icons that I use to draw an arc or something else, do something completely different. There is another one. Let me go right here to Advanced. This mode stop right here, if I tell Creative Studio to use this layout, that means that if I am at the keypad and I push the mode button, it's only going to go to this mode stop. It is not going to continue going all the way through these icons. It will be one, two, three, and your fourth click is going to start back over to edge to edge. So that's important to understand because I do a lot of clicking from my keypad. So I'm going to right click again, left click on customize tool strips, and you see right here that I have one called Joanne Tool Strip, and I'm going to select that, and Creative Studio changes to what the available buttons are and what the current buttons are, which means those are the ones that I have on my tool strip. And you will notice that Draw Freehand and Edge to Edge are not over here in my buttons. So I'm going to say use this layout and it changes and there are all of my icons. With my all-in-one, I can see all of those icons. Here's my separator right here. You can barely see it. There's my mode stop. I have start quilting as my very first one because I want to push mode one time and start quilting. And then I have the things that I use in quilting, my mode stop, and then the different design features that I might would use all right here. Each one when I hover over it, it'll tell me exactly what it is. Let me go back and tell you one last thing on customized tool strip. If you set up your tool strip the way that you want it to be and the way that you like for that, or say you have several different ones, you would go right here and you would type in the name of what you want that to be, just like I did Joanne Tool Strip. So let's take this one and let's move it over here and I'm going to say Barn Buddy Tool Strip. And I'm going to left click on Save Layout and I'm going to export my layout to a file. Now I can decide wherever I want that file to be and I happen to put it either in my Statler Stitcher right here where I can type in Barn Buddy Tool Strip and I can hit Save and it becomes one of my presets right here up at the top. So I'm going to close this but I'm going to go back and I'm going to customize tool strip. And if, for instance, I need to go find that, if it's not loaded right here, I can go to left click on import my presets. I need to remember where I had that and where that I saved that tool strip. And there it is right there. It comes in with a file extension of .csut. And as long as I know where that is, I can click open and it comes in. Now, it tells me that I'm already using one to overwrite it. And I'm going to go, no, I don't think I want to do that. Thank you very much. And I don't think I want to overwrite that one. Thank you very much. So you're going to have a warning whenever you do those things. I'm going to left click back on Joanne Tool Strip and left click on Use This Layout. And now I'm back where I need to be. Rearrange them and play with them. It may take you a little while before you know, okay, I don't use this item very much or I do use this item a good bit. You might decide that you want to go back to the version 6 tool strip because that's the one that you may be used to. So just play with them. They're easy to change and they're easy to rearrange and easy to get to. So I hope that will help you and I hope that you are having a good time playing with version 7. Thank you!